Amnara Pearson School, Pune. I love science and my ambition is to become a scientist. I am going to explain the concept of force and motion. Force means push, motion means movement. In other words, when there is a push, there is a movement. Another example of gravitational force is the running water from the tap. Notice the invisible force of magnets. It attracts iron and repels magnets of the same poles. Another invisible force is the force of wind. Spring force or elastic force is applied by springs or rubber bands to come back to its normal size. When you kick a ball, why does it come to a stop after some time? This is because of frictional force. Frictional force acts against motion. When a person applies force, she can either push or pull. Which one do you think is easier? Pushing is harder because it acts against friction. That's why always pull. Bayon force is the force by which water pushes objects upwards. There is less bayon force on some objects. That's why they sink. There is more bayon force on some objects. That's why they do not sink. That is why even large ships can float on water. This is motion. Oscillatory motion is the movement that repeats itself to and fro like a pendulum. Rotary motion is circular movement. This is another example of rotary motion. Finally, we have motivational force. When your teacher applies motivational force on you, you start moving towards better studies and grades.